Good morning. From the heart, our morning daily devotional. The reading for today is entitled, Channels for the Son of Righteousness, November 17. Children of the Heavenly Father, save me. Nesting bird, no star in heaven, such a refuge ever given. Neither life nor death shall ever from the Lord his children sever unto them. sorrows all he knows. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 20 Now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. The professed church of God may be possessed of wealth, education, and knowledge of doctrine, and may say by her attitude, I am rich and increased with goods, and have need of nothing. But if its members are devoid of inward holiness, they cannot be the light of the world. The church is to reflect light into the moral darkness of the world, as the stars reflect light into the darkness of the night. These who have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof, do not reflect light into the world and will not have power to reach the hearts of the unsaved. Without vital connection with Christ, the value of truth cannot be made to appear in good fruit in the world. But if Christ is formed within the hope of glory, his saving grace will be manifest in sympathy and love for perishing souls. Every soul truly converted to God will be a light in the world. Bright, clear rays from the Sun of Righteousness will shine forth through human agents who use their entrusted ability to do good, for they will cooperate with heavenly agencies and labor with Christ for the conversion of souls. They will diffuse the light which Christ sheds upon them. The sun of righteousness, shining in their hearts, will shine forth, enlightening and blessing others. The rays of heaven, shining from human agents, will exert a subduing influence upon those whom Christ is drawing to himself. The church is weak before the angels of heaven, unless power is revealed through its members for the conversion of those who are perishing. Unless the church is the light of the world, it is darkness. But of the true followers of Christ it is written, We are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. The church may be composed of those who are poor and uneducated, but if they have learned of Christ the science of prayer, the church will have power to move the arm of omnipotence. The true people of God will have an influence that will tell upon hearts. It is not the wealth or the educated ability which the members of the church may possess, that constitutes their efficiency. It is when the Son of Righteousness shines forth from the people of God that Christ is glorified and his kingdom advanced. It is then that they are chosen vessels of salvation and are fitted for the Master's use. Thank you for listening. Shalom.